Hey everyone, Eugene Fedorovsky from EugeneFedorovsky.com. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I hope you're crushing it in your network marketing business. I hope that you actually sat down and planned out your goals for this week and are hitting the benchmarks that you set for yourself. And today, I have a question for you. Do you want to start accomplishing the goals that you actually set out for yourself? Stay tuned and I'll share some tips with you. Now, I do talk about goals a lot, and be that's because I believe that they're the way, they pave the way for you to get unstuck and for you to do whatever you really need to do in your business. Now, a majority of the people really already know what they have to do. They just are not doing the actions necessary. And that I'm going to speak about that a little bit later, but for the most part, it, or at least for what I've seen worked for me, is that setting up goals and different milestones to hit helped me propel where it is that I'm going. And once I found out where I'm going, I work backwards in order to find out a path to get there. And I do that on a weekly basis. So last night, Sunday night, sat down, typed out my goals. Today, this morning when I woke up, I looked through them for whatever it is I want to accomplish this week. Now, a lot of people don't set goals because they're like, eh, what's the point? I don't accomplish them anyway. So first, if you want to start accomplishing your goals, you have to make sure that you write them down, put them in the iPad or write them down on a piece of paper, whatever it is. Make sure they're written. Make sure that your short-term goals are accomplishable. Your long-term goals should be big, huge, hairy goals, as they're called. That's when you become a billionaire, a millionaire, go every day on vacation, whatever your big goal is. But realistically, in a week, chances are you're not going to become a billionaire in a week. So set more achievable goals, something that's going to stretch you a bit, but achievable at the same time. And if it's something that you don't achieve, if you don't achieve your goals two weeks in a row, then you have to scale down your goals. Because at the end of the day, you don't get a prize for the size of your goal. No one will give you a cookie for accomplishing your goals because they're huge. But you will be able to pat yourself on the shoulder at the end of the week if you're going to accomplish your goals, no matter how small they are. So for example, so let's say you set up a goal for this week, last week, to prospect 100 people. And you only prospected five. So guess what? Plan, do, review. You planned your last week's goals, you did your goals, and then reviewed them. You didn't hit your prospecting goal of 100. Okay, so perhaps instead of 100, take it down to 15. Take it down to 20 people to prospect. And this brings me to the next point, and the main point of today's Facebook Live, or today's video, is that the kind of goals you're setting out should be activity goals. And there's... There's two types of goals. There's activity goals and there's lag goals. Those lag goals are actually the results that come out from the goals that you set out. So for example, it's New Year's, so a lot of people set out a goal to lose weight this year. That is a lag goal because that is something that you're going to accomplish or have a better relationship. That is a lag goal, which is also known as a result. Or make it big in this business or rank up in your company. Whatever the goal, those type of goals you set, those are result-based goals. Those are lag goals. What you're doing is you're just saying them out loud, but they won't come true if you don't do the activity goals, if you don't set the activity goals and do the activity itself. So that's the core thing that I want to share with you. Set activity-based goals. Goals that you're gonna be able to do something about. So for example, so let me talk about setting up a rank. Or better yet, getting people to join your company. So in a week, in your week ago, you set a goal for, I'm gonna have five new customers. That's a great goal. But the problem is, is that it's not a guarantee. You can't guarantee results. 
you can guarantee the actions. So you, yes, you can take the actions that are necessary to get the five customers this week, absolutely. But you not, still cannot guarantee that. Because no matter what actions you take, you can never predict what's gonna come out of it. You can talk to 100 people and get one customer, or you can talk to five people and get five customers. So set up activity goals. Set those goals so this way, for example, prospect five people a day, or reach out to five potential clients a day. That is an activity-based goal. So if you want to make it big in this business this year, set up a goal to reach out to five potential prospects or clients on a daily basis. If you want to have a better relationship this year, then set up a goal for the week of doing something for your significant other. Or if you don't have a significant other, set up a goal of what you can do on a daily basis to find a significant other. Or if you want to lose weight this year, set up a goal on a weekly basis that you can accomplish. That is an action. Eat more healthy. Don't eat past a certain hour. Um, work out more. Things of that nature. So if we set up activity goals and action goals, they are going to lead towards results. Because honestly, if you don't do the action, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. And then you're going to be a sad face and disappointed, and then you're going to go into your freezer, open the freezer, and get a tub of ice cream. So I don't want you to do that. I want you to be successful. I want you to be successful in accomplishing your goals. So in order to do that, you have to make, a, make your short-term goals something that is actionable, something that you can do on a daily basis. One of the examples that just came to me was uh, Jerry Seinfeld. He's a great comedian. He's one of the highest paid comedians, if not the highest paid. And at one point, somebody asked him during an interview or after his show or something like that, and asked him, Jerry, how, do you, how are you so successful? And he said, I do something, I write jokes every day for at least two hours. He goes to his calendar, he puts an X. And they think it's something like 18 years of unmissed Xs. So what goals, can, uh, what activities rather, can you do today to make your success inevitable? So, so you can accomplish those lag-based goals. Because the reason why they're called lag-based is because they don't not gonna come true right away. It's gonna take some time for you to do the actions for, for those goals to, co to come true and actually come to fruition. So if you're gonna sponsor and prospect and get customers, you will get that rank. If you're going to eat less, exercise more, you're gonna lose weight. And checking your gauges every day is not gonna help either. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, and share. I, this can potentially unlock the reason why you're not accomplishing your goals if you're setting them out in the first place. If you're not, then I highly recommend that you start and then use this kind of training in order to get you to work on your goals. Make sure you're accomplishing them. Make sure you're hitting your benchmarks. Feel free to visit www.eugenefedorovsky.com. That's where I have training like this on almost a daily basis. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.